Good morning. So one of the new features in Character Creator 5 is the Actor Mixer plugin. And if you didn't know, you can use this plugin to create a wide variety of characters. And to illustrate how quickly you can sketch up a character using this plugin, in this video we're going to create the actor Leslie Odom Jr. who plays Aaron Burr, who is the man who shoots Hamilton in the musical. And we're going to do all of this in under 10 minutes. So let's explore this amazing plugin. So by default, you get 12 characters for free when you install CC5, which you can use in the Actor Mixer plugin. If you purchase the Actor Mixer Pro plugin, you get an additional 40 characters with corresponding body parts. And you also get this huge library of different skin textures up to 4K resolution. So even though you get access to the core features for free, I highly recommend that you purchase Actor Mixer Pro so you get the whole library so that you can very quickly create some really cool and varied characters. All right, so let's start creating our character. Uh, let's open up the plugin by hitting Actor Mixer over here. And as you can see, I've already uh, loaded the base male character. So I'm going to use the uh, current character. But if you haven't loaded the character, you can select the base male or female here. Now first, I want to draw your attention down here to the right, where you can see sub D1. One of the new features in CC5 is the higher subdivision count on the characters. If you hit Alt 2, you can see the wireframe, and you can see the more denser mesh here. And you need to have these subdivisions enabled in order to see the new HD morphs. So if we enable uh, subdivision level 2 here, for example, you can have a look at the really high quality HD body types that you get with CC5. You don't need to export your character with this high fidelity. We can just bake this down to a normal map when we're uh, finished with our character. But I will keep it at subdivision level 2 during this video. Let's go back to the Actor Mixer plugin. And before we start, we're going to do some optimization first. So let's hide all of the other uh, meshes, which is not part of the character. Let's also search for Mani and apply the mannequin gray material so we can better focus in on just the shape of the character. Finally, if you're on a lower spec PC, you can also lower the quality from high to medium to save on some performance. In the Actor Mixer plugin, let's start by going over to the body tab and switching over to the body wheel. Here you have three different options. We can do a full body blend, we can do a skeletal blend, and then just a body shape blend. And I'm also going to switch over to the HD anatomy pack, which comes with even more additional uh, characters and body types that you can choose from. To customize the blending wheel, simply drag in a body type or body shape here in one of these slots, and then we can start mixing these shapes. Now, of course, if you're doing a lookalike of someone, you always want to use reference. So here I have a reference image of Leslie and how his body looks. So I would say that it's a somewhat denser athletic body with some muscles. So perhaps somewhere around here. Now I did check and uh, looked up that Leslie is 171 centimeters tall. So in order to change the height, we're going to switch over to the skeleton blend instead. So we can mix different skeletons and blend until we get the correct height. Let's move on with the head and face shape. So I'm going to switch over to the head tab here. And I'm also going to replace some of these slots with different characters simply by dragging and dropping them into the slots here and replacing the ones that are already there. Let's start mixing. And once again, reference is super important. So here you can see the reference image I'm using. And let's start blending these shapes until we get a somewhat decent looking lookalike. Once we're happy with the general head shape, we can go in and refine the face by blending individual parts. Then I'm going to blend the eyes. And let's go over to the mouth. 
Now I'm not entirely happy with the uh, with the selection of mouse, so I'm going to drag in a few mouse that I think fits the character better. Let's change the ears. Then the nose. And then finally the forehead. Now at this step we're not aiming for a perfect match, just a close enough base that we can build upon, using the traditional tools that are available in CC5. Let's give our character some uh, human skin again. So I'm going to go over to template, skin overall, and then look for a fitting skin texture. I'm going to use this male African 4K because I want the higher fidelity. Let's apply this and have a look. Now comparing this to the reference image, I think his skin is a bit too uh, bright. So I'm going to enable the skin color blend and let's tweak this until I get a skin color that matches the reference image uh, a bit better. Let's also turn him human again because he um, kind of looks like a zombie now. And in CC5, there are amazing new eye colors with uh, higher subdivisions and higher texture resolution. So these new HD eyes look amazing. Let's go down and change the iris color. And let's make them a bit bigger as well. Let's tweak the UV width. Now, after we've used the actor mixer to create a very solid base character, you can go in and refine the shapes by using the traditional slider method. And in CC5, we have these new HD morphs. So I still have my reference image uh, up on the side here, which I'm comparing this character to. One of the new features in CC5 are also the new eyelashes, which they've finally separated out of the body mesh. So they're separate and a lot easier to work with. And finally do some even more adjustments on the eyes. The skin texture that they provide in the Actor Mixer Pro plugin are amazing, but you can of course bring them into a photo editing software like Affinity Photo or Photoshop and customize them even further. So I'm going to clean up the diffuse texture here, and then I'm also going to do the same for the normal map on the face. And after giving our character some hair and some eyebrows, we have a somewhat finished character. Let's apply an imported MetaHuman Animator facial capture so we can have a look at the blend shapes. Here is the final result. I'm going to do another video very soon in which I show you how to get these MetaHuman Animator facial captures into CC5 and iClone. So hit subscribe if you're interested in learning more about that. Now we have an issue where he wrinkles his forehead and the hair doesn't quite follow. It's a very easy fix by using the assign conformable regions tool. Let's go into the tool and hit active. And it will select the hairline and the hairline will then conform to the facial morphs. Very nice. If you're interested in learning more about the Actor Mixer plugin, you can read more about it on Relution's webpage, which I'll link down below. I'll also leave a link down below to the official YouTube tutorial, which shows you how to use all of the features and goes a lot more in depth in what I did in this video. If you just want to start creating immediately, I'll also leave a link down below where you can purchase the Actor Mixer Pro plugin, which does feature a whole lot more characters and parts that you can mix and match, which I do recommend if you're seriously invested in character creation. But do remember that you have access to the base features in Character Creator 5 for free as well. I hope you learned something from this video. A huge shout out to Leslie Odom Jr. who did an amazing performance in Hamilton 
I saw the musical when I was in New York last time and it completely blew me away and I'm so hooked right now on it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.